Hi everybody, this is Nino and I welcome you live from the kitchen floor into the, let's say, 1970s. Uh, well, what happened? I discovered that there is such a thing named LoRa for long range connection and that you can use microcontrollers like this one uh, of the ESP32 type the, to connect over long distances directly, similar to the way walkie-talkies connect. And you can use that, for instance, to get information from a faraway sensor or something like that. I decided to do something way less practical, a radio teletypes. And the idea is this, these are two, two old uh, typewriters slash terminals, which are each connected to such a ESP32 chip. And this is just a power pack, uh, you know, powering the typewriter and the chip. I converted it from needing batteries to uh, working with this power pack. And now these two machines are connected and they operate exactly as you would imagine. Whatever you type on the one appears on the other. So let's say for instance, I, have a very important message, then this is here. I have a very important message, right? And here it has been transmitted in capital letters. I just like to turn everything into capital letters due to the retro charm. So, that itself is rather entertaining, but I was a little bit worried about encryption because you see, you can actually connect those devices in something which is called a LoRa wide area network or LoRaWAN. But the point is certain connections are not allowed, like some particularly long range connections are simply too slow for that thing. And well, I wanted to roll my own thing, you know, like to give the whole thing a bit of a more a retro charm. So I came up with the following encryption scheme. And we are looking here at the screen of our eavesdropper who has attained the same, uh, let's say, uh, connection setup as, as these two machines and is trying to see what they are communicating about. Well, all he's going to see is for each letter, a group of five characters separated by spaces, which signify an encoding for the corresponding letter typed here. So every time I type here something, here another group of five letters is going to appear. You see spacebar, 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 space, space, what this should show you is that it is not a one-on-one -on -one encoding, so it's not completely stupid, but it works like this, that I generate a key, uh, which is, well, a few 10,000 elements long, and many such combinations correspond to one letter. And if it gets a valid uh, five letter combination, it is going to translate that into the corresponding letter. So yes, you can eavesdrop, but it is not entirely trivial to crack the communication. It is not impossible entirely either, which gives the whole thing more of a, let's say, um, flair of the time, you know? So that's about it and if you're curious um, about building your own, um, you know, let's say encrypted radio teletype connection of that style, I am going to upload the code on my GitHub account. It consists of two parts. The one is an Arduino sketch, which you upload to the chips. And the other thing is a little Lisp program, which is generating the key, which is used. And I, of course, recommend you to generate your own thing and not just use what I will be uploading. Oh, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I heartily welcome you to the world of radio teletypes. Till next time, goodbye.